afternoon. It's Robert and Julia Miller with the J. Patel Group and Rethink Real Estate with another exciting real estate update. That's right. Happy to be here. You look very cozy. Cozy. And warm. Well, it's a chilly day. It's a very been a very interesting day. <laughs> it has. Especially when we decided to go on a walk while it was raining. I can't raining. believe you talked me into that. You talked me into it. Is that the way it went? Really? Yeah, you insisted that we take a walk today, and we did, and there we were. It was different. We don't walk in the rain very often in Arizona, so <laughs> right. chalk it up to experience. It so. was, yeah. We were completely drenched and found out our raincoats Yeah, my raincoat's not very rain resistant. Not 100% rain resistant. <laughs> Neither are my wind pants. No. They were soaked. They were soaked, yeah. Wow. So we'll have to remember that when we take them to Alaska next time, yeah. whenever that is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hailstorm, too. Yes. I'm We're looking just... out at the neighbor's roof and it still has hail on it, like it's a little bit of yeah. snow. Crazy weather yeah. we're having right now. Yeah. So. Anyway, happy to be there. We'll keep it a little shorter. I know the last one was painfully long, and this will be a little bit shorter this time. Yeah, we'll make it fast. Um, er. Do you have a joke for us? I do. Okay, yeah, beauty before age. All right. Uh, if we have to go through another lockdown, just train all the Amazon drivers how to give the vaccines. The entire population will be immunized by Saturday. Wednesday, if you have Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. You like yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we would be at the we would. front of the list. We'd get right That's there. For sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I got uh, some jokes for us. Today. Some jokes. Yeah. Okay. I've been busy. Well, lay it on me. I can't turn water into wine, but I can turn ice cream into breakfast. So that's pretty neat. <laughs> all right, all right. Some days you'll have that. So I just bought a 12-month gym membership, and my bank called to see if my card had been stolen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Okay, finally. Um, do you know why koala bears are not considered or categorized as bears? Because they're a marsupial? I don't know. Close. It's because they don't have the koalifications. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> that's, okay. That's a dad joke. That's a dad There's joke. Your bad jokes for today. <laughs> oh, yours was really good. I like the prime thing. Oh, that thanks. Good. good. Yeah. I'm glad you like that. Okay, this week in history. Speaking of Amazon, mm -hmm. 2002, Amazon.com announces January 22nd it has posted its first net profit. 2002, wow, they yeah. haven't looked back really no, since. No, I wish so. I owned a lot of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. 1994, the 6.7 magnitude Northridge earthquake rocks LA January 17th. Leaving 61 people I think dead. I remember that, yeah. Um, kind of got overshadowed, you know, because they already was, had a really bad earthquake. and That know. one was really big, though. Yeah. 6.7, you said? Yeah, that was pretty big. Yeah. Uh, 1986, the U.S. observes the first Martin Luther King Jr. Day, January 20th. Hmm. What year was that? 1986. 86. Yep. All right. I remember this one well. 1981, Iran releases 52 U.S. hostages January 20th after Reagan's presidential inauguration. Mm. So, as soon as Ronald got in there, I think uh, Iran made a decision they should probably yeah. send our people back home or uh, suffer the consequences. Right, yeah. Ronald Reagan was not going to suffer that. Yeah. 1954, on January 21st, the first atomic submarine, Nautilus, is launched in Connecticut. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to probably tear this name up, but let's give it a shot anyway. 1893, okay. Hawaii's queen, Lilo 
Uakalani. Hmm. Lilio Kalani. Sounds like you did pretty good. I doubt it. Okay. We're probably <laughs> laughing. <laughs> okay. Is overthrown January 17th by American businessman. I gotta look into that a little more yeah, to find out that the, about, how that I mean, went down. Yeah. Hawaii's queen. Yeah, she's overthrown, overthrown January 17th by American businessman. 1893. In 1893. Hmm, yeah. Sounds like a very interesting more on that story. story later. Yeah. Hmm. And finally, 1841, ownership of Hong Kong was ceded from China to Great Britain. Hmm. January 20th. A lot happened on the day of January 20th. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's your history Very for this good. week. Very good. On to economic news. Yep, yeah, a little economic news. Tax season delay. The IRS is going to, uh, has announced last week it will delay the start of the 2020 tax return filing season from late January to 2021 to February 12th, 2021. So. Okay couple of weeks couple before of weeks. they get things rolling so if you're needing to return quickly it's not going to happen uh, the IRS says it will need more time to prepare after a late December COVID-19 relief act okay so they're looking ahead tax filing deadline however remains April 15th ah, okay so the deadline is not pushed out no nope. they, they just nope. need some more time but yeah they expect they'll still be able to yeah they just need to, uh, more time to start processing okay uh, retail sales are down not surprising with uh, rampant coronavirus infections and delayed government relief measures US retail sales declined 0.7 percent in December Ouch, that's not a month that we normally People are see. buying houses instead. Yeah, they're saving their money and buying houses. Right. Smart, Smart move. Smart move. Yes. And I think overall, I mean, I think for our for our family, it was the holiday, the Christmas holiday was focused more on spending time with each other, being able to be with each other because, you know, the previous 10 months, 8 months, it was difficult to be with each other. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was less about buying things for each other than it was about being with each other. So right. I think that was a lot of it. Mm -hmm. yep. And I think the, uh, the trip we made to see family was one of the most enjoyable, me personally, that I've ever had yeah. because we couldn't go do anything. Yeah, so we, we had to just doing stay things. home and... Yeah. Played with the kids, Played grandkids, with the kids. <laughs> and it was just a blast. Yeah. I, we went gonna, out to dinner once in yeah, the one seven dinner. days that the, we, we were there. and We walked went, in the park. We left to go walk through yep. the woods. That was nice. Well, but, we went um, antiquing. Yes, we did one go antique mall. Right, right. Uh, that was it, and though. Other than that, we just... Yeah. Uh, Played with the kids the yeah. whole time, so and it, it was, was awesome. Marvelous. <laughs> we should self isolate next visit. Next too. time we go, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, we'll find a winery visit, though. Yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> It'll be safer. Um, we've talked about lumber prices and how they are skyrocketing, yeah. and that was highlighted in the housing news uh, this week. Yeah. Softwood lumber prices, prices paid for softwood lumber in residential construction ended 2020 at 12.5% higher than in 2019. And we were hearing 16% overall. $16,000 oh, per home. $16,000 per home. And that equates to an country. increase of about 12.5% okay. in the cost of lumber. Okay. So. Wow. Uh, yeah. Regla... Uh, regulatory news, no hikes soon, Fed Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said last week that rising inflation should have no effect on interest rates, even if unemployment falls below levels, usually considered a warning sign. So with everything else that's going on, the normal rules are kind of out the window. Mm -hmm. uh, COVID flexibility, the Federal Housing Finance Agency, FHFA, announced last week that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will extend several flexibilities until February 28th. I guess this will get pushed back even, it'll keep getting pushed out. Um, but anyway, to support borrowers 
during the COVID-19 emergency, including alternative appraisals, mm -hmm. alternative docs, and expanded power of attorney for loan closings. Yeah, a little, a little less um, lower contact. Um, you know, the appraisals, the appraisers aren't always going to the properties anymore. They're doing their appraisals differently. Um, and more lenders are accepting that on almost all loans. Um, and then um, docs, yeah, alternate signing on docs is mm -hmm. mostly what I understand. Right. Um, so just making those processes a little easier during these times. Pretty much standard operating procedure for a notary to come to the person's house. Mm -hmm. Complete, you know, the signing, so. Right. That's uh, worked out very well. Maybe we'll continue to see that beyond um, the pandemic. I think so. I hope so. I think it's a great idea. I think um, it will make the title offices possibly require smaller buildings, smaller office spaces. You know. Yeah, to some degree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's possible too. Or they may reinvent themselves and add additional purposes mm -hmm. you know, for their business. Title companies have been fantastic about that. They, That's true. They did that in uh, during the crash uh, back in 08. You know, they really became a resource that we went to that before they were kind of just a processing house. Oh, then yeah. they, they became a, mm -hmm. a partner in our marketing and, and you know, printing flyers. Yeah. And, you know, it was awesome. Great job of uh, meeting a need and reinventing Right, that's Recreating true. your usefulness, usefulness and branding. Yeah, there you, you know, go. So. Okay, interest rates remain historically low. 30 years at 2.855, 15 years at 2.338, and VA is at 2.460. So they just stay so hovering low. well so below low. 3%, and it mm -hmm. doesn't look like there's going to yeah. be any change to that. Inventory. Inventory. <laughs> I always think this is the most shocking numbers that we'll see, and then and then the next week, happens. and then we do it again <laughs> this week. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay. What Remember do you Remember when we were like shaking our head when it was uh, it fell below nine thousand mm -hmm. for the entire valley? Yeah, we're like, oh my goodness, what do we can do? The entire valley has 5,311 homes available <laughs> in the entire valley. It's bad. It's bad. Fifth largest city in the United States. But I think less and less builders are putting them on the MLS, putting the houses on the MLS. That's one side of that. But on the other side, some of this 5,311 aren't even built yet. They're new construction. I mean, yeah, there are true. still... There are some... Uh, Using the MLS as advertising for new construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's true. We do yeah. still, still see some of that. Yeah. You don't see the inventory homes. It seems like um, you it, they they list it differently now. This is a, this is a home to be completed in the summer. Right now, we're seeing right. um, buyer can pick all of their um, you know upgrades and things, flooring, cabinets. So you just come to the office and. Kind of thing. So it's right. they're advertising a model almost type thing. We should yeah. probably um, spend dedicate a little bit of time talking about the new system and the way builders are releasing homes, releasing lots. Um, essentially, they're dictating what's going to get built and mm -hmm. what you have available to purchase. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's it's interesting, but it's successful um, yeah in so, some cases some buyers are like forget it i'm not dealing with that right so you know we'll save that for next couple yeah. of weeks we'll spend we'll Maybe dedicate a, a little bit of a time to special report the new the new home building model you know buying a new new construction home. and the lottery you're talking about the lottery system well, that and just bit, right you know um, even that, you know, back in the day of the lotteries, you were essentially buying a lot. But then after that, it was pretty much traditional. Yes. So it's completely and different now. And that's really so. not the way it works now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
We'll uh, go into that in more detail okay. here in the next few weeks. Yeah. Okay, locally, uh, some inventory numbers. Just we normally, we're during the, for active adult communities, this is the what we call high season. This is the pinnacle January through March is basically the pinnacle of the active adult buying season. So we're wow. normally looking for 70 homes being available um, to show people. Yeah. yeah, as an example in Trilogy. As an example, yeah. Yeah, you look at a community like Sun City Grand, we would expect, you know, 150 homes. Yeah, available. 150 to 200 yeah. in some cases, yeah. Trilogy of Estancia currently, I just checked uh, 15 minutes ago, they have 11 homes available for sale. 11, so that's... <laughs> 11. <laughs> that's it. 11 homes. <laughs> wow. They range in price from 460000 to 798700 and it wasn't that long ago where you could get into Trilogy pretty easily under 300000 Oh, yeah. A Rebus or yeah. a, a newer Nova, or a Central Pay. Yeah. One of the models that's like 1,300 square feet. There's a coming soon model. Uh-huh. A Central Pay. Right. $489,000. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Does that have a pool? Does have a pool. Okay. <laughs> I think it even a has a spa and it's decked to the okay. max. It's okay. a beautiful home. But, but I couldn't believe that price for a you know two bedroom, two bath, no den. Wow. Thirteen hundred square feet. Uh huh. Or no, a little bit no no more than that. Fourteen hundred. It's slightly bigger than a room. Well we were so having like uh, drinks with a friend the other night in the last week and yeah, they had bought a Revis, mm -hmm. uh, smaller floor plan there in Trilogy. With a pool. With very, a pool, beautiful very happy pool. with their purchase. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, 360000 mm. a little over a year ago, I think it was. It's now ago. worth four sixty five. Now it's like, yeah, four sixty. So, yeah. <laughs> Great appreciation. Um, Vistancia Village, the uh, family side of uh, Vistancia. You're not going to believe this one. Five homes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's five so homes. So let me available. ask this about those numbers. Um, not so much Trilogy, but Vistancia, because I know there is some new build homes. Are you taking, are you separating any of that out? Um, or is that just wrong? They're not posting any of that. They're not, see, they're not posted. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so five yeah, is just five and five resale. Yep, five resale homes. Yeah. Okay. Um, 310,000 being the most affordable, 600,000 being the most expensive. Okay. Cordobella, two homes. Two? It was one yesterday. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they, wow. they added a new listing today. So they range 479,900 to 544,900. Wow. Sun City Grand. This is a community with 9,800 homes in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you alluded to, we normally look for 140 to 160 range. It wasn't that long ago that it was over 200, you right. know, maybe two or three years ago. Yeah. They have 26 homes available for sale. Wow. Ranging from 269,000 to 889,000. Wow. So, whoa. Mm -hmm. Inventory sellers are definitely in command, uh, as we alluded to last week, one month inventory available right now. So mm -hmm. if there wasn't any more listings, everything that's in the valley would be sold and there'd be nothing to buy. So, Historic times we're living in. Yes, this yes is they, are. they are. All right. All right, that's all I've got. That's all we've got. Okay, try to keep it a little shorter this time, but uh, it's, yeah. we're in interesting times as far as real estate goes. So we'll do have our best week. to continue to keep you updated. Everybody have a blessed week, and we will see you again very shortly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Why would I mess around? No reason to, I guess. I'll probably do that again. What are all the Bernie memes? What are you looking at? Bernie memes. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> everywhere. Look at this one. I didn't see this one. <laughs> Trump. Yeah, I don't this. see that happening. Yeah. Oh, you, do you have a yours? joke?
I have three jokes. <laughs> okay, then. I forgot my paper, though. All right. I need to make sure that we're doing all right anyway.